up, Too Real Gang? This your boy Jimmy Too Real, and I'm back with another video. Man, y'all already know what it is. I've been missing y'all. I've been working hard. I started a whole new business, Moten Towing and Logistics, and um, I'm trying to get it off the ground. So today I'm gonna take y'all in the life with me. Um, first of all, I saw some tiny houses off the expressway when I was on the way taking Jai to school. So I'm about to run back over here and see if uh, if I could see them up close and personal, how they set up the land and everything. Um, excuse me, felt like something was on my face. And then um, we're gonna go over here and check on the tow truck, man. I just bought a tow truck. I'm getting the stickers and everything made, so I got a FaceTime. Uh, one of my friends, his name Relic, he does graphics, um, logos, all types of stuff, man, pertaining to your business. He could put the, do the glass on your uh, storefronts, whatever you want, man. He do flyers, whatever you want, man. So, yeah, I gotta highlight him and get the measurements on the truck so I can get these stickers, um, so I could do my DOT inspection and get my insurance and all that stuff. Other than that, I got my business license, I got my DOT number, I just got to get everything ready for my uh, truck inspection so I can get it on the road and start making money. So y'all stay tuned, man. We for the lock, load, and go. Let's do it. Now, guys, I think it's over here on this back road. I saw it off the uh, the expressway. I'm trying to see. I'm over here off of uh, Stone Road. Let's ride this back road. They building some stuff over here. Right here? Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Tiny houses. Oh, man. Let me turn. Let me turn this neighborhood right here. It's called Fireside Place. They got some tiny houses over here. They're about to set up. And I want to take their idea because I've been talking about doing this for a long time. See if I can sneak over here. I see somebody over here. Some solutions, environmental solutions. They over there hanging out. Trying to see if I can sneak over there and get a peek. Let me see. Let me sneak in here. Let me see. Oh, see how they got the land set up, y'all. About to have them back to back over. Damn. Excuse my French. Let me see if I can go around. Show y'all the tiny house they already got set up. It's on the back side. It's on the back side over here. It's interesting because it looked like they live here. And then they putting up the tiny houses behind their house. They got a septic tank. I guess they own the land. It's like a trailer or something they added. And then they put in tiny homes all in the back. That's interesting. I wonder how many, uh, I wonder how many they might fit. It might be, uh, I don't know what y'all think. Y'all comment down below. These little tiny houses over here. Might not be much. Might be 12, 10. That's what I think. 10 to 12. So they doing a lot of construction around here, as y'all can see. It's very interesting. Because the main house that the people who own the land live in is like, it looked like a real house, but it's a trailer. It looked like a double wide trailer. And then they adding the tiny homes on the backside, I guess, to make extra income. But I'm, I like it. It's cool. It's a cool idea. So, if y'all trying to do the same thing, there you go. Go buy you some land. Probably, uh, I say that's an acre. No more than uh, two acres. And uh, put your trail on it. Live in it. 
put some tiny homes in the back. You got to get you an architect, get you a um, or an engineer, and uh, get you a contractor so you can get the permits pulled with the city and um, your local electric companies and stuff like that to get the power. But yeah, man, y'all tap in. Now let's go over here and check out this tow truck, man. We got to get this tow truck going, get this money back in, cause uh, it wasn't cheap. So let's try to get this tow truck on the road, see what the man doing over here. I'm over here in traffic early this morning, trying to make it through. I'ma see y'all at the tow truck. Just pulled up, y'all. What's up, boss? Nothing, man. I take the tie off and then I take it to them and I have a mom. That's what I do. Yeah, and them eagles. So I'm gonna have to get some of them. And then mount and then uh, I mount them on there. All right, two red gang. So that's that. We checked out the tow truck. Um, I'm about to go and um grab my wife some food and uh, so she can have some lunch take care of that get me a little lunch and then possibly um, go and um, check out some more tiny homes and I'm gonna take y'all with me and I also want to um, show y'all what what i'm gonna do with this tow truck man i got this whole little plan but long story short we're gonna go check out these tiny homes and then i'm gonna go grab uh grab ja from school and jay but we're gonna get ja first then go check out the tiny homes so y'all stay tuned so why are you looking like that because you don't want to go film with me Huh? I want to go home. That's okay. All. We about to go home. I'm about to go film and show everybody these little tiny homes. It's right around the corner, right here off Lane. I showed them some tiny homes early off of uh, Fire Firestone Road, but it's some more off Lane. Wait on the light to turn green. Here you go. Right here. It's called. What is it called? The tiny house something. I can't see the words at the bottom. Let's go in here. These all tiny homes. Look, look at this. It's amazing. Look at this tiny house community. And this is in Jacksonville, Florida, y'all. Trying to show my daughter. Give her an understanding of the future and affordable living for all Americans and people everywhere. This is amazing, it's raw. It's a whole community. Come on, let's go this way. I ain't never come here before. You can't drive up there. You gotta park off the street. Look at her, she talking about, oh my God. She ain't never been in that like this. She don't even know what's going on. That's the thing about kids. Until y'all teach them the right way to understand real estate and the value in owning real estate, then they'll never know. So parents, teach your kids about real estate because they don't understand the value. And a lot of times when you pass away, they give your property away to probate and the state take it, they resell it and then they lose the value and the worth of what the family is really um, evaluated at because your network, 
is determined on the value and the things that you own. So stay woke. Definitely y'all black folks out there that's just getting in real estate. Y'all just got into it around the PPP time. Stay woke. Let's check this out. What you mean? I'm just trying to look at them. Look, they got the cameras in the middle. So this is a good idea for a tiny house um, on some land. Let me see, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 in this little area. So I could just imagine, I think they got over 100 in this community. Come on, come on, I'm trying to show you something. One day you could own a bunch of stuff like this. Bunch of tiny homes. I'm working somewhere else and not here. You don't gotta work here. I said you could own it. <laughs> Meaning you'll collect all the money from all, all of this. And you'll be able to live in a real big house like how we live in. But you gotta have you some real estate. You gotta have you some assets that's gonna take care of and feed you and pay you for everything that you wanna have. I'm going to work uh, something else. Okay. See, guys, that's why it's hard to teach kids about real estate because they don't understand the value in the things that you're teaching them. So maybe it's good to own some and then sell it all before you die. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Tell me in the comments. But this is a great tiny home community. Some of them got ramps. Some of them don't. I'm just trying to show my daughter so I can open up her mind to reality and let her know that you know you need affordable living you need affordable living for veterans you need affordable living for single moms single dads i mean it's so many reasons on why we need to build affordable living homes tiny homes apartment homes come on why you don't like them because they're too small but it's affordable living to help people that's in a dying need. Look, this one empty. Let's peep in. Let's look. If comes, Nobody lives here in 31. You can peep in and show the people. Oh, they nice. Laminate floors. I wonder how many bedrooms. There's just a box in See the kitchen over there? To the right, bathroom in the back. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see. Yeah, that's the kitchen, y'all. Brand new appliances and stuff, cabinets. That's cool. All right, let's go. I like this community. I want to build something like this in the future. That's my goal, man. Over a uh, hundred tiny houses. You don't gotta be the smartest person in the room to understand that real estate is better than having cash. When real estate go up in value, cash go down. Remember that. So that's all, folks. I hope that you enjoyed that, you know, and I hope you learned something. And remember to teach your kids about real estate. Real estate go up, cash go down, even gold go up. So invest in real estate, man, so you could, you know, have you something for the future and your kids have something and their kids have something. The value of land is going up. You don't even have to own a building. Just own a piece of land. That's very important. We teach that to our kids. I got a eight, seven, and one about to be three year old. Even a 19 year old stepson, he still don't understand the importance of real estate because he never asks questions. He's never trying to be involved. I tried to put him on some yard cutting, house cleaning type stuff, you know, with my properties. He still don't get it. If he was smart enough, he'll tap in. When I was his age, 19, 18, I was tapped all the way in. That's how I knew I wanted to be in real estate. The first person I knew that was doing real estate, they had rooming houses. The next person that I knew was doing real estate, he had rooming houses. Then the next person after that who sold me my first car at 18, rest in peace, Peanut, 
He was an electrician. He owned Charters Electric on Avenue B, no, 45th and Moncrief. And he had real estate, rooming houses, commercial property. And that's what I ended up doing um, as I got older. I'd be 36 October the 20th this week on Sunday. And I've been doing real estate since 2014, man. And it's changed my life and helped better me and my family. And it always been my backup plan. On top of that, I invest in other things. Um, like I just told y'all earlier, I just bought a tow truck. I do Amazon. Um, I do Touro. Um, I got multiple things going on. I'm invested in salon suites, all kind of stuff. So, man, y'all tap in. Y'all stay tuned. Lock in. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And you already know. Check out the next vlog. Check out the next one. Check out the ones before. And y'all stay tuned in, man. I love y'all, man. Learn something. Educate yourself. Educate your family. And keep it real. I'm out. Yo.